Hi, my name is Prachet and welcome to my channel. Today I will be showing you one project which I made using ESP32. It's a web server which serves as a graph, plotting all the analog values. On the X axis there is time, on the Y axis there is analog values. So I've connected one analog sensor which is light dependent resistor which outputs voltage proportional to the incident light. So when it's completely dark, the voltage will be zero. When light is falling on it, the voltage will be 3.3 volts. If the light is that much bright, you output a 3.3 volts. So the voltage goes between zero to 3.3 volts. And when we hit on the sample button, the analog value is recorded at that instant of time. The date is also recorded, which is on the top of the graph and the time is recorded, which is represents the X axis. So let's see this project. I'm going to demonstrate how it works. So here is the project made on the breadboard. This is ESP32 to which I've connected two switches. One is to take samples. Another one is to create the data file. There are two LEDs. One is to indicate that the data file is created and one is to indicate that the sample is taken. So right now it's not powered on and this is the sensor part. This is LDR, light dependent resistor, which is connected in a voltage divider network. The output is uh, analog voltage, which is directly proportional to the incident light falling on the LDR. So I'll turn on the five volts from the adapter. And initially it's not uh, connected to Wi-Fi, but as soon as it's connected to Wi-Fi, it will serve the web page. It's connected to the Wi-Fi, but yes, now it's connected and the ESP32 served us the web page, which I programmed in it. The server is providing us the web page. In order for the server to provide the web page, the client, which is our laptop, and the server, which is ESP32, must be connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Right now, it's showing data file not created, no samples. So let's take some samples. And also, our sensor block is working. As you can see that the output voltage is now 2.48 volts. If I cover the hand over this LDR, you can see that the voltage drops. I mean, this block is working. This is constantly giving out voltage, but if we press this button, then only this analog voltage is recorded. And if we hit on this data file uh, button, then only the data file is created. So let's take some samples when light is falling on the LDR. Let's take five samples. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and I'll cover the hand over the LDR. I will take five samples one, two, three, four, five. Again, I will take five samples one, two, three, four, five. And then I will press this button to create the data file. Data file is created. This LED indicates that data file is created. And you can see on the website, it showing data file not created. So you have to reload the page. So it's showing data file created with 15 samples. So we will click on make chart. So this is our graph. So this is the analog voltage. As you can see, initially the, the light was high. Then I covered my hand and then took five samples. Then again, removed my hand and took five samples. So if I hover over this point, you can see that the analog ADC value is displayed along with the time. Okay. So this is the time on the X axis. As you can see here. So the time corresponding to the points is also recorded right now. It's 1118. Okay. So that is also recorded. So if I click on delete chart, so the chart is deleted and also this LED turns off indicating that there is no chart. So this was the project. If you enjoyed this project, like this video, subscribe to this channel. If you want to make this project, please let me know in the comments. I will make another video of how it's made with all the codes going, going into details how it's made. Thanks for watching. Good night.